Hoffman at the last Olympics in the pommel horse during the team competition, and their team needs a big score from him now. He was certainly a big star in the 88 Olympics. Today, he's been rather inconsistent, following up one good routine with a bad routine. This is a big release move, a reverse hect. Now he has a second release move coming up here. It's the Gaylord One, invented by Mitch Gaylord from the U.S. team. There it is. Oh! Well, it looks like he's okay. Looks like he hit a little hard on his arm there. Yeah, you, looks like he hyperextended his elbow. Let's see what happens. He pulls it over just too far. Actually, he's very close to making that, but there's a tremendous amount of pressure through the bottom when you re-grab the bar. Let's take a look at how close his hands are to re-grasping. Look how far that bar bends. There's the one and three-quarter front over the bar. He reaches in. Looks like he's in pretty good shape, but he just peels off right as the pressure starts to catch him as he goes through the bottom. You take a half a point deduction for that fall, and you continue the exercise from that point. And all he has left is the dismount here, but unfortunately, that was a really major deduction for the Japanese team. Well, a solid landing. So far, the Japanese first five performers have scored nothing worse than a 9.425. So anything lower that, than that will get dropped. You see the trainers immediately coming over to address the needs of Mizushima's right elbow. As Trent Demas, the final American, is mentally rehearsing his performance, all America's hopes rest on his shoulders. And the score for Mizushima is a 9.25, and that will not count. They won't count that score overall, so that means that the United States needs to 